<laughs> Congratulations on this. And I have to tell you, for somebody who was a huge, huge fan of the book, you people have outdone yourselves in this film, really. What a wonderful job. And I, you know, I want to ask you, why do you think this book and, and movie, for sure, will strike or has struck such a chord with people? Do we all want to start? <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, I always just say it's because it's a story about the underdog. I think that we're attracted to that. You know, the underdog that wins in the end, that defeats the town bully and the Darth Vader, overcomes evil, finds their dreams and goals. And yeah. we just love that, those types of, I love those types of stories, you know. It kind of confirms and affirms that you could do it. Whatever you set out to do, you could do it, whoever you are, you know. Yeah, and and for you, Emma, I mean, it's such a wonderful departure for you, just being able to play somebody like Skeeter. You know, we have used to seeing you in these comedies, and what an amazing opportunity for you. Yeah, uh, you absolutely. know, what was it like for you to take on a role like like Skeeter? What a great it's character. incredible. It's incredible. Da it's daunting, and it's and it's uh, terrifying, but uh, all the best things in life are. So, you know, uh, um, if, for me, I, I saw so much humor in the story that it doesn't really feel like uh, this. This is big. Right departure undertaking is just as scary as any other part you play and um but with this you, you want to be you want to be responsible respectful to the history and to the time period and to the dialect <laughs> which is <laughs> yeah let's uh, talk about that was yeah. that difficult for you ladies to get into that oh my and, god oh god <laughs> had you done dialects before uh yeah i had not <laughs> but you know coming from acting training you do British dialects which nobody asked me to do ever in my career <laughs> but I kept telling the dialect coach my mom is from the south and she says baby she says baby if the baby do this you know B-A-B-Y is baby she was like no but people from Mississippi say baby baby Interesting. That just threw me every <laughs> single time. It's like all of a sudden you'd be really, it's like Emma said, you're going really good in the scene, yeah. and then you're in your head. <laughs> it's this really technical aspect that you mm -hmm. don't have to, you know, it's like it's like being on a green screen or something like that, where it's a, that technical thing yeah, changes exactly. your Absolutely. performance. You don't feel organic with it yet, yeah. you know? Oh, I can filter, imagine. Just one more thing through. you have to worry about, you know? Right. So, mm -hmm. Do you feel a huge responsibility in some way? Um, I know it's a movie and everything, but really it is representing so many people that will be watching this film going... Mm -hmm my God, that was me, that was my grandmother, that was my aunt, whatever. Do you feel that kind of a responsibility sometimes when you're playing a role? Absolutely. With this piece especially, as popular as the book was, everybody weighing in who should play it, everybody, you know, Emma's mom, Emma will, will tell you, you know, she's like, you, you're in this movie, this is you, if you cannot mess it up. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then black people, uh, an African-American woman came up to me and said, you know what, the only reason I'm coming to see this film is because of you. Mm. Just know that. And I'm like, oh my, what do you say to that? <laughs> I'm like, well, thank you. <laughs> you know, so I felt a huge responsibility to the African American community. This, you know what, this film should be called Responsibility. <laughs> Big responsibility. <laughs> That's what it should be called. But that would be the sequel for Emmeline, because we all want to know what the heck she's going to do next, really, mm -hmm. you know, seriously. Yeah. You know, when you work on something like this, and um, it is so important, really, uh, it's going to make, it's going to be Oscar bound. I'm telling you, it's just going to be huge. Um, but in the end of the day, do you feel that you come off the set and you wrap, you're changed in just some little way? <coughs> Maybe that is the difference between, um, between, Maybe I can find that because I keep saying, you know, oh, the genre thing. I don't get the genre thing, the drama, the comedy, whatever. Mm -hmm. But in a movie like this, you do, you go home at night feeling like something changed something in you a little, shifted, like something yeah. shifted. And, yeah. you know, you can make jokes all day long and you can feel good about that. But Absolutely. You come and home at the end of the night on this and, and you it's, feel productive. You really do. <laughs> Not just the piece, but because you knew that it was such a huge labor yeah. of love and responsibility is you feel like you went through the trenches mm -hmm. with each other. Yeah. You know, I'm so protective of Emma and Jessica. I don't want anyone even suggesting anything negative about them. Yeah. 
Well, you, like I said, you guys just knocked it out of the park. Honestly, oh, I want to see more movies with the whole cast again. Okay, so please, can you just try to arrange that for me? Okay, great. Well, you got to write something. I'll do with it. all of us? But we'll talk. Our I people mean, will talk. <laughs> you guys are fantastic. Thank you so much you. for such a wonderful film, really. Thank, thank you. you so much. Thank you. Great thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Take it easy. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Have a good day. Bye. Have a good day.